What's going on guys? Today we're going to learn Best Part by Daniel Caesar. This one's not too difficult, but it does have some cool new chords to learn, and once you get those down, you should be able to play it no problem. If you're completely new, make sure to check out my free beginner course by clicking right here, or check out my 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. With that, let's get into the song. Okay, so this is gonna be the part that's played for basically the entire song. So it's not gonna be hard to memorize and it's not gonna be a ton of different parts, but there are a few funky chords and a different finger picking pattern, so it is gonna be a little trickier. So stick with me and let's get into it. All right, so we're starting off on a D major seven. And we're just gonna pick the four middle strings with our thumb, first, second, and third finger. And then our pattern is gonna be So it's just pick, slap, pick, slap. And I find it works nicest to just kind of take that side of your thumb and just smack it against mostly the sixth string. Not too hard, but enough so that you do get an audible click. And that's all you're doing. And we're gonna do that on four different chords. So there's your D major seven. And then we're moving to an A minor 7, which is technically played like this, but we're not actually playing the 5th string on this one, so you can just bar it. And you play the 6th, 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. On the exact same pattern. Now with bar chords like this, I find it easiest to take my middle finger and put it on top of my first finger, just to give a little bit of extra force so you can get them to ring out nicer. But then you're gonna do the exact same pattern on this chord. Just pick, smack, pick, smack. Nice and gentle and easy. Then moving on, we're gonna do the same pattern on a G major seven. And again, play the sixth, fourth, third, and second strings. And then your last chord is going to be a B flat major seven. So it's technically the same chord shape as down here, just moved up to the sixth fret, but we have to change it around because we have to play this pinky note here. So this one's probably going to be the trickiest chord of them all. So you're going to need to bar it so that the sixth and the second string ring out, and then you can put your second finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, third finger on the seventh fret of the third string. And there's your first chord, then smack, so. And then put this pinky on the eighth fret of the second string for that second note. And there's your fourth chord there. So that one's gonna be the trickiest. Alternatively, you can play it like this with your thumb. I've never been very good with my thumb personally, but if you find that easier than the bar, you can try that out. But I personally find it easier this way, but do whatever works for you. Some people are better with their thumb. Okay, and that's all four chords. So you put those together on that pattern and you've got the full progression. And right there, there's the full progression. It's played super, super slow, so the chord changes shouldn't be the tough part, but the chords are a little tricky, so you're gonna wanna work on those. All right, so that's gonna be played for the almost the entire song, except for the last two run-throughs of the chord progression, where you're gonna switch to just letting them pick and hold out for four beats each. It's using the same chords, we're just playing them each for four beats. And 
And there you go. That's the end of the song. So you're just playing that for the last two run throughs. You should be able to hear it pretty quickly when listening to the actual song. But with that, that's the whole song. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. Please, please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Really does make a difference and help out the channel. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified of all my newest uploads and you learn guitar a lot faster. With that, I'll see you in the next video.